Have you guys ever had bacon jam? No? <laughs> well, to be fair, I never had it until we made this and now I'm a total convert. It is super delicious and really easy to make and today's recipe is actually made in a slow cooker. So you have to do a couple things on top of the stove and then you put it into your slow cooker and it slowly cooks for like three and a half to four hours and it gets all caramelized with a little bit of sweetness, a little acidity. It's amazing. To start off with though, you are going to want to cook your bacon in a large skillet. It's one and a half pounds of bacon that's been cut into one inch pieces. I'm using kind of a thick cut bacon, but I actually think that if you got regular bacon, it would work just as well, if not better. Either way will work because it does get processed in a food processor at the end. So if your pieces are kind of big, don't worry about it. You have to cook most of the fat out of this, sort of render it out, and the bacon is crisp. That'll take up to about 20 minutes. When your bacon has crisped up, there's going to be quite a bit of fat in the pan, so you want to remove the bacon with a slotted spoon. You can put it on a paper towel lined baking sheet or a plate, whatever you have handy. In this instance, the slotted spoon is the perfect tool. I'm having a very difficult time right now trying to not eat all the bacon before it goes into the slow cooker. And you gotta keep everybody out of the kitchen at this point or all your bacon will be gone. So you wanna pour off all but about one tablespoon of fat. So I'm just gonna pour it into this measuring cup. And then cook some onions, two medium onions, in the one tablespoon of bacon fat that's left, along with three smashed cloves of garlic. There's some browning on the bottom of the pan from the bacon. The moisture in the onions should help you scrape those little bits up because you want all of that flavor in your jam, so don't leave them in the bottom of the pan. Have your heat on about a medium heat still. It's about That's a good heat to cook bacon on too. I have a tendency to want to turn the heat up, but I actually feel like if you have it on a medium and you're just patient, it'll cook really evenly, it won't get scorched in places, it's better. Your onions just need to get translucent. That can take anywhere from like three to six minutes depending on the heat of your stove. And then you're gonna add flavoring components. I have a half a cup of apple cider vinegar. That's going to add tanginess. And then for some sweetness, I have a quarter cup of maple syrup. But I didn't want it to be too mapley, so I'm also adding a half a cup of brown sugar. If you don't have brown sugar on hand, you can certainly use regular white sugar, but this adds a lot of depth. Bacon jam is sort of like really deep with flavors. And then for more depth of flavor, I have three quarters of a cup of brewed coffee, a nice dark coffee. You want to bring this to a boil, and if there are any bits of brownness left on the bottom of the pan, now's your chance to scrape them up. This has come to a boil. You want to cook it for about two minutes. You're trying to reduce it and get it a little bit syrupy to start off with. And you might be thinking, why am I not doing this all in the slow cooker? Well, the slow cooker is going to slowly cook everything together to make that amazing jam consistency. But this just makes it start off with more flavor because you're building flavor here in the pan. You're sauteing your onions, you're reducing your liquid down. Now you can add the bacon back to the pan and then everything will go into your slow cooker. Give it a stir and then into your slow cooker. I have the slow cooker on already. What you're gonna do is cook this, and it's kind of unusual, you cook it uncovered in a slow cooker on high. So you just leave this in here for about three and a half to four hours. Everything should reduce down, get nice and syrupy and delightful. Okay, look at that. So it's really reduced down, it's caramelized, it smells fantastic in here. Now the last thing that you need to do is just grind it up. You could probably eat it the way that it is, but it's not exactly jam consistency, right? Take it out of your slow cooker and transfer it to a food processor. If you're enjoying what you see, click like and make sure to subscribe. Don't you like me? Click like. All right. My gosh, you guys, I just want to eat this the way that it is. And it's pretty magnificent because as it was reducing down in the slow cooker, it got all shiny and like luscious looking. It's almost irresistible. Pulse it. All right. You can make it as coarse or as fine as you want. 
This seems to be a fantastic texture to me. Let me show you. Kind of a coarsest texture, but all the onions are translucent and they've absorbed all the sugars and the coffee and the bacon fat. Mmm. Oh my gosh. Put this on a burger with some blue cheese and you are good to go. This bacon jam is fantastic. You should give it a try.